Hi guys, Dean Musar here, back with another video, and for today's video, it's going to be a tutorial video. Um, it's from my tutorial series that I did on Patreon for the month of January. It's one of the drawings I did, Dubala, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did the hair. And yeah, if you guys want to see any tutorials like these, um, you can go now and check it out on my Patreon alongside with other tutorials. And yeah, we're going to start off basically by drawing out the shapes of the hair, um, like you have sections that go in one direction and you have another section that goes in another direction so first thing you're gonna do is just shape it out break it apart separate um, the hairs because obviously there's different groups of hairs so that's what we're gonna do and then once we've done that we're gonna fill in them areas with like lines um, mainly like scribble lines going in all sorts of directions simply because hair is messy um, unless it's someone that has like really silky hair that's going towards one direction then obviously you just want to make sure the pen is going in that direction of the hair as always but in this case Dubala's hair is pretty messy it's all over the place so that's why we have that, that a little bit more freedom just to mess around with the hair and just do strokes again um, keys with the ballpoint pen that's totally different to pencil is we don't have like a white highlight uh, that we can use after to add in the lighting and the, just to give it that extra realistic look so what you want to do is um, leave gaps between the lines um, just to give off that illusion uh, it makes it look more like hair than having a solid black area so lines leave separation um, that will help you a lot to make it look realistic um, obviously you want to keep the lines at the same tone as well um, in certain areas but for now all you want to do is just break it apart and you see these little white gaps that I have in between I'm going to come back to them towards the end and then I'm going to add a nice grey shade just to bring all the hairs and everything together but for now draw the lines in the direction of the hair uh, don't forget to leave the separation it's really key, really important one thing I will say about drawing hair is don't take it too seriously. Once you start to, start to take it really, really serious, uh, <laughs> uh, you just start to try to do one line at a time, try to get every single detail, which is near enough impossible unless you're a perfectionist and you spend hours and hours and hours on just drawing the hair. That's a different story. Um, but in my case, I'm more of a sketch artist. That's why I class myself as a sketchism artist because I do sketch slash realism. So. If you want to spend hours and hours on the hair, then you can do it a line at a time and look at each detail, zoom in on your image that you're drawing. That will help you a lot. Um, but in my case, I told you I'm sketching, so that's why I'm just doing it freely, not taking it too seriously, letting it let loose, and it's easier to do hair like that. That's why I personally think. I think if you just let loose and not take it too seriously, you have more fun with it. Uh, I personally hate drawing hair, as in capital H. Yeah, I don't like it but i get it done um this is the way i get it done um by and just letting loose and just enjoying it but obviously breaking it down and stuff like that to a limit breaking it down to a limit i don't break it down like to an extreme but i do break it down i also have a weird technique as well when i'm doing like curly hair and all, all different types of hair i have different ways of drawing it so if you guys would like to see like a curly hair version or a what was gonna say straight hair version uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll try and get that done for you guys. Another piece of advice I would like to give you is when you're doing the hairs, if it's hard for you to just draw straight, um, like from the right to the left, if it's easier for you to draw left to right, like flick, flicking wise, then I advise you to turn the paper. Um, that helps a lot. Of course, I'm doing a video, so I can't really turn the paper because then I'll confuse people when they're watching it, just having to turn their heads a lot. But I would advise you to because obviously I do it like this on video and then once I'm done with the video I go back to it and turn the paper it makes it so much easier for me um, to add them little extra little details that I need to but you guys have the freedom you're not videoing yourself so I advise you to turn the paper when you're drawing it to so make it easier for yourself so as you can see here I'm bringing in the brown just to make it look realistic because obviously his skin tone and his head in general um, has lighting and lighting going from different way, angles, different places. So that's why I like to incorporate a little bit of brown just to bring the forehead within the hair together. All that stuff, just combine everything. The thing about things like this, when you do at the start, you're probably thinking, ugh, that looks terrible. But 
that's majority of our arts at the beginning we're just like oh it doesn't look like what i'm drawing i don't want it to look like this but once you carry on keep going at the end you're like oh okay i did well <laughs> it came out better than you probably expected and yeah just keep going so yeah that's it for my tutorial video i hope you guys enjoyed it and you probably learned something from this and i will see you guys soon and if you want to go or check out my patreon for some tutorial videos uh if you want to learn my ways for me to help you out then come on over and support your way i'm out peace